your first alert weather with meteorologist Darren Stack. After a soaker of a Monday out there, all thanks to a cold front moving through, we're still holding on to the unseasonably warm weather for the next few afternoons. That all changes, though, once a cold front comes through here on Thursday. A very strong cold front has a supply of much colder air coming in behind it. High pressure, though, sliding into the southeast for the next two days will keep the sunshine around and those 60s for highs. Ahead of this front on Thursday, we're even looking for low 70s for those high temperatures, but that increased chance for rain will be out there as well. We replace the 70s with 50s after the front moves on through. So noticeably stronger uh, air cold front coming through than even what we saw out there yesterday and be prepared. We could get a few uh, thunderstorms in the mix as well, with those clashing air masses. As far as our future cast view goes, plenty of sunshine out there for today. Clear and cold tonight. Temps will be dropping down to the, th the 30s away from the coastline, even 40 right down by the beaches. By the afternoon on your Wednesday, holding on to that sunshine out there for us. And those upper 60s for highs should shape up to be a very nice day overall after that cold start to your Wednesday. Thursday, we'll start to watch for a few clouds moving in into the morning. Rain chances look like they're going to be moving into the PD into the afternoon and even to the Grand Strand late afternoon and into the evening. A line of thunderstorms certainly not out of the question at this point. Still a few days away, so we will pinpoint it as it gets a little bit closer to us. The front though forecast at this point to be heading off the coast as we head into early Friday morning. Big changes coming in with that front though. As I mentioned, upper 60s to around 70 degree high temperatures for the next three days before we see those temperatures staying shy of 60 and closer to or even below our seasonal average, roughly 57 this time of the year. We are looking for low to mid 50s for many days after that cold front comes on through the area. Today, it is not one of those days. It's going to be a mild day with highs around 67 to 68 degrees all across the Grand Strand for Merle's Inlet, Socasty, Conway, Carolina Forest, North Myrtle Beach, Andrews, Pauley's. The humidity staying low for us today. Winds will be gusting over 25 miles an hour, possibly even over 30 miles an hour as we go to the midday and into the afternoon. You can see even across the PD and the border belt, temps will be topping out in the middle and upper 60s. Overnight, though, as those winds begin to relax, those temps will fall quickly. We will see a cold night away from the beaches, especially with those temps dropping to the middle and upper 30s, low 40s down along the coast. We'll hold on to some of that breeze, though, through the late evening hours. Now your seven day forecast for the Grand Strand sees those temperatures middle and upper 60s today. Tomorrow, 73 on Thursday before dropping to the mid 50s. A big cold air push coming in for Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and even into your Christmas Eve forecast. Monday, a high of 55 degrees. Wake up temps. Oh, they're getting back toward that cold air as well. Mid to low 30s with many locations for the inland areas down forecast below freezing on Saturday morning and Sunday morning. So a noticeably colder weekend is heading our way, but great weather out there for this afternoon as well as your Wednesday forecast. Thursday, we'll have to deal with those showers, possibly even a few thunderstorms, but highs in the low 70s for December. I'll tell you, we are certainly going to kick off winter on Friday feeling like winter and sticking around perfectly timed out for your Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. So have yourself a great Tuesday. Your latest news and weather updates are always available on your website, carolinalive.com.